Welcome to the commercial case study. We're going to show you how Netflix wins by being agile at scale. First, Netflix was not always a video streaming company. And in fact, in a keynote speech by its chief architect, Adrian Cockcroft, Adrian talks about the challenges of moving from a company that delivers movies, delivers DVDs in the mail, to one that was actually delivering movies as a service online. And in this discussion, he talked about the competition between going with a volume-based approach or a velocity approach. And in the end, what he said was speed wins. In order to make this transition, he identified four critical items that must be applied within the Netflix culture in order to achieve this new foundational paradigm. And this is something that people are trying to do still today. The first was a culture of innovation. This is the idea that as opportunities evolved, as new platforms were developed, that Netflix should be able to take advantage of them, to be able to jump into those opportunities to stay competitive. Second was about data and analytics. This is the idea that you need to be able to not just observe and orient, but to be able to understand what's going on within your system and then be able to make choices based on real data as a test-driven approach. As a result, Decisions needed to be decentralized. The system that they were developing was too complicated, and you need to be able to very quickly assign resources to the parts of the system as needed. With that quick realignment of resources, Netflix could become very scalable and meet the demands of a very rapidly growing user base. And finally, this also required a culture of responsibility and freedom. You are free to take action, you are free to make changes, but in the end, as a coder, if you built something and it had a bug, they were gonna wake you up at two in the morning and have you fix it. So this idea of an agile self-service mechanism for deploying uh, new code changes was critical. You can learn about this and all the approaches that they implemented, which were years ahead of their time, because we're still today in many organizations trying to get to what the Netflix paradigm achieved almost five years ago um, by going to the link that we're providing to you here on the course page and taking a look at this on YouTube. It's a great speech and I hope you enjoy it and learn a lot. Thanks a lot and look forward to seeing you next time.